Hello everyone, Madi here. We are back with another Halloween tutorial. Today we're going to design a spooky invitation for your next Halloween party. We are going to use the monster we created in our previous tutorial, so make sure you watch that video first if you haven't. Are you ready? Then let's go! First things first, let's prep our artboard. Let's pick one of the paper formats, so you can even print this design if you want. A4 is a great size to start with. You can then print it full size to hang it on the wall or smaller size to hand it over to your friends. Now, let's prep our assets. I know I want a more gothic looking font, so I've decided to go with this Orac. You can download it for free and add it to your fonts library using Fontinator, it's really easy. Ok, moving on to the color palette. This is a non-brainer. We're going to design with the same colors we used for the monster. Speaking of which, let's bring in our monster. I'll place him in the vertical center, but more to the bottom, so I have enough space for the title, date and all other details that I want to put in my composition. Alright, time to start creating. I'm going to make a dark blue background. And then I'm defining the horizon here with a simple curve shaped in a darker color. Let's add our text. Working with typography might seem daunting, but once you know your font, it's simpler than you think. One very important thing to consider is visual hierarchy. Visual hierarchy is the principle of arranging design elements in their order of importance. The name of my event is Spooky Night, so this will be the biggest typographical element in my design. time and place I'll add here, at the bottom, in a smaller font. Keep the style tab on the right open as all the text editing elements are here, like size, kerning, tracking and so on. I left the tracking as default but feel free to play around with it. I'm also making use of this function here for each text box. Fit bound to text size. This helps me edit the text easier, like when I'm aligning them or moving them around. When it comes to alignment, make sure your texts are placed in the vertical center. For the time and address, a simple way to do this is by grouping them first. And then afterwards, you can use the align function, which you can find in the inspector, but also in the quick actions. I am missing the date. To bring it into focus, but without overpowering the name of the event, I will place it here, right next to it. and to make sure it stands out, I'll frame it in a colorful box. I think a simple rectangle is too plain, so I'm adding 
um, let's call them tails on each side to match the font. Finally, I'm grouping everything so I can align the text within the box, both horizontally and vertically. And with that, all the text elements are done. Let's focus back on the background and fill all the negative space. There's a lot to play around with. A typical horror motif is a spooky forest, so let's create a dark tree on each side. I'm going to freehand some branches with the brush tool for this. First, I tried a few variations, and finally I landed on this brush that is thicker at the base and tapers out towards the end. You can use a reference here, or just draw whatever feels natural. There's no right or wrong, so take the opportunity to draw freely until it looks the way you envisioned it. Here, I've grouped everything into one shape. And then I duplicate and mirrored on the other side. Symmetry and efficiency, win-win. Next up, a blood moon. Let's create a circle with the shape tool in a bright red-orange shape. Don't forget to hold down your finger to make sure your shape is a perfect circle. Then we'll duplicate it and give the duplicate in the back a blur effect. This way our moon looks like it's glowing. In a world with a monster with three eyes, there can be more moons, right? So I've made a few circles to fill up the background. These additional shapes are in pink, but when I change the blending mode, they will combine with the glowing effect of the blood moon and look like glowing spheres. The secret is to set it on overlay. Now, let's bring a little more color to the bottom half of the design by adding a pool of blood where our monster is standing. Don't worry, our monster is a friendly one, this is just fake blood. Use the shape tool for this and elongate the ovals so they fit the perspective. Since we don't want our invitation to be too gory, let's bring a few fun and colorful elements in. So I've decided to make some bad looking creatures using the shape of the eye. I have a super easy way to make the bat wings. Use the pen tool shortcut to turn sharp corners into rounded ones. So all you need to do is tap 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 and then double tap every other node and adjust with the node tool. Then I added a few stars to match the monster's cheeks. It's a party at the end of the day. I also think a star between the time and the address brings all the elements together in a nice way.
but we're not done just yet. The devil is in the details. I want my monster to stand out even more against the background. So I am grouping all the elements that compose the monster and add a shadow to the group. I'm using my darker shade of blue and setting the offset to 15. And the absolutely final touch we're going to add to this design is texture. Let's Google something that fits. I decided on this image. Then add the image on a layer on the top of the background, but make sure it's not covering the monster or the text. And change the blending mode to multiply. Et voila! The texture brings an extra layer of spookiness and depth and it's the last detail that wraps up our design for today. Here is your extra scary and super fun invitation for your next Halloween party. If you don't have time to create it from scratch, you can download this design from down below and just change the date, address, time and colors to make it your own. Enjoy this year's spooky season, everyone! Thanks for joining me! As always, like, comment, subscribe and stay tuned for my next tutorial. Bye!